he said he thought he was doing pretty good in his trial. And the judge he asked him, what does he wish for? And he says, I wish for the case to be dismissed. And the judge said, that's for another day. And I said, Gus, now what did you say? He said, I didn't say nothing. And then the judge started talking to uh, the, the wife's side. I said, why didn't you just say to him, it's a game. It was a word game with these people. It's a, it's a, it's a like a ping pong or a tennis match. The judge throws mm-hmm. something at you. He gives you three mm-hmm. seconds for that ball to come back on his side of the net. If it doesn't come back on his side of the net, he figures you're done. Mm-hmm. Well, you missed the ball. You dropped it. Yeah. Yeah. So he gives you, he said, to Gus again. I said, now Gus, say that to me. I said, I said, I'm going to be Gus and you be the judge and say exactly what the judge said. He said, okay. See, that's why I got to do DVDs and do uh, make believe it's called moot court or mock trial. Yeah. Right. I said, I got to do this with people like him. So I said to him, okay, I'll be Gus, you be the judge. Say exactly what the judge said. And I said, so I, I played Gus. The, the judge says, what do you wish for today? You know, Gus. And I said, I wish for this case to be dismissed. And the judge said, well, that's for another day. And then Gus, what you were supposed to say, well, I wish for another day to be now, to be today. And then the judge would have tried to trick you again, or maybe not. We might have said, you know, I don't have anything to throw back over the net. You win. Okay, it's dismissed. You see what I'm saying? Because he gave you a loophole. He says, no, that'll be for another day. So why don't you say, well, I wish for this to be another day. I wish for now to be another day. Why didn't you just say that? He's like, I didn't even think of that. I said, this is what I'm telling you. These people are word nerds. These people love crossword puzzles and word games. They don't like working with their hands, these judges. They don't like, you know, working on automobiles or steam uh-huh. fitting or bikes or oil <laughs> boilers. No. They like playing with words. That's what they really love doing. You better learn how to love to play with words. That's, that's the bottom line. That's all it is. You have to learn to love playing with these words. If you want to go into their world. If you want to love playing tennis and you want to go against some of the best tennis players in the world, you better know how to play tennis. Yep. So it's, it's, it's the best you can do is shoot the ball back once, and like like you, you shot it back twice. It's like, uh, that's not the end of the game. Well, I hit it back twice. Uh, there's a lot more to it than twice. They're not going to let you win that. Easy. It took them hundreds of years to get to this point. They're not going to let you walk in and out that 